Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, RuPaul's Drag Race, season 14, episode 10 and 11. <laughs> Twist! Oh my god. <laughs> Well, it basically was a two-part, it said to be continued, so I feel like well, we can... Well, and then episode 11 was titled, A Very Special Episode, and I was like, what does that mean? Well, and then it said, in like the write-up, it was like, Rue reveals a twist to the queens. It's like, this wasn't... She reviewed it last week. It was not a reveal. We well, already knew. To me, a very special episode implies that there will be methamphetamines involved, or teen oh. pregnancy, or something, you know, like that's, to me, what a very special episode means. I'm, I'm so excited. That was not one of the lip sync songs. And no, oh my god. So I'm so scared. I'm scared. <laughs> very special episode. Yeah. But, first things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like the viewing party of me for Sna for R Lala Perusa. Well, oh. both. I'm sure I was like Snatch Game was like, oh, and then Lala Perusa. I was like, not Bosco, not my Bosco. <laughs> Bosco, <laughs> no. Bosco, <laughs> Bosco. <laughs> I saw the writing on the wall. Bosco. Sure. So, wait, they we'll got get, me. They got we'll me get, good. We'll get there. But episode 10. Yes. The, oh, wait, we had other things to oh, say. Oh, we do have other things to say. Second thing, second, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Third things third, make sure to subscribe, share, oh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We're trying out Ooh. these new little buttons. We're going to see if those work. So, since this was a two-parter, we're going to talk about both episodes in one episode, condense it up, get a week less behind in yes. our um, uploads, in our releases, and catch up with this season that will never end. It better. Lala Perusa started and I was like, someone better frickin' go home. But by the end you were like, oh I no! I was like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, episode 10, The Snatch Game. Oh boy. No one has gone home. Right. I mean, say what you will about Daya Tribe. I think that's the new. I think that's the new one. Daya Tribe. Um, I, I like that a lot. She's speaking the truth. It's through a very um, salty, sure. sour, bitter, bitter lens. Oh my God! Someone joked. They were like, "Do you think she's bitter because of her diabetes?" Rude. Rude. She likes those bitter flavors. <laughs> Fennel. You know, get it right in there. Artichoke. Mmm. Mm. Am I irritated there's eight of us here still? Absolutely. I get it, I can't be mad at it, but I'm irritated. But Daya is basically like, uh, am I pissed that there's still eight of us? Yes, I am. And I was like, me too, girl. <laughs> me too. Two. And then next week when she was like. The two people that have consistently done pretty poor in the past few challenges. <sighs> I mean, some people were a lot some worse than they could really have gone home. Gone home by now, I'm like, I mean, you're not. Wrong. Delusional are getting not only another chance, but a chance at something they're both really good at. That is true, I and mean, we'll talk about Snatch Game. You could be, you know, nicer well, about sure, it, but certainly. you're not delusional. But I kind of really am enjoying, as much as it is, I'm enjoying oh. the diatribes because she is yes. the first villain that we've had in a while. In a while. Where she's just like, I'm gonna say what I feel, and I, I, I'm not concerned about how the fans are gonna be like, you I, know. You know what? Bravo, yeah. diatribe, bravo, because um, it's making for good television. Oh my god! Also, someone tweeted that she should have a drag king name of No Offense. I like that a lot. But it's like Noah. Yeah. Fence. fence. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, Jasmine. No offense, Georges. <laughs> and now that's actually the only way that I can hear it. Yeah. So that's fun. <laughs> no offense, but um. <laughs> No, I'm just talking about my friend. And no no offense. offense. You know. It's not be too. Stupid. Dumb. Yeah. No offense. But Rue walks in. Did you notice? It looked like she was wearing an Apple Watch, but it was a ring. It wasn't, but it was like a big old square, oh, like onyx that. or something. I love that and I was idea. like, wait a minute. Hey, Apple Ring. Right? Yes, the Apple Ring. I love that. It's like a, it looks like a big mood ring. Yeah, but like tiny compared to this. Yeah, yeah. Love it. <laughs> then you need just a little magnifying glass to read it. <laughs> Let me read my apple. Okay. Or ring. that's part of it. It's a Swiss Army and a, a little magnifying glass pops, pops out. out and oh, great. Okay, yeah. thanks. Great. <laughs> Love it. 
I didn't notice that, but I did notice that she had this like glitter diamond tiger <sighs> cheetah, whatever. I was like kind of into it. It was mm -hmm, pretty, mm -hmm. pretty fab. Yeah. She announces that there's a mini challenge yeah. and that is you have to make quick. couture, quick drag out of bubble wrap. This was mostly successful. Sure. I mean, it was pretty great. Everyone was coming out and it was like pretty shitty. Pretty shitty. Oh my god, Angeria, you made a fucking complete gown that's tailored and looks amazing. Oh my god. Like it was like uncanny. Like it was just like, you kind of wrap some bubble wrap around you. You kind of wrap some bubble wrap. Oh my god. Did you make a pattern? It was nuts. Yeah. When this started, there was some sampling of some sped up techno track okay. of something. And I, I literally will round it like, five times, could not place it. I think it's from a bad movie, or maybe it's like a Rue song and I have no idea. It was in there and I could not, I'm gonna play it. This, yeah. somebody let me know because it was something. Okay. And I could not figure it out. But okay. it was a little, there you go. Does anybody know? But anyway, yeah. Deja made a cute 80s prom dress. She looked like Debbie Gibson. Um, you know, that happened. Bosco made this, like, bondage red aquaria, I, yes. Joan Jett, fabulous, oh my god! It was everything? Yeah. And then she won. Yeah. And Rue was like, the winner is Bosco. And I was like, oh, is she making a Seinfeld re reference? I didn't know. Oh, I don't. I'll play the clip. Okay, great. Bosco! <laughs> I was like, oh, is that, is she finally making the Seinfeld reference? No, is it? Bosco. Yeah. I, we haven't made like the Bosco chocolate milk reference yet. It's Bosco. <laughs> you know, the, the chocolate syrup. I, I love that stuff. I pour it in milk, it's my favorite drink. <laughs> That's also related to the Seinfeld thing, but yes. Great, there you go. Love it. Was this where she was like, and you've won $2,500 sponsored by Bubbly because it's bubble wrap. Oh okay, yeah, there was like a, and break for ad. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. yeah. And then Rue announces that it is time for the snatch game. Eight is too many. Yes. I think well, that was one of the flaws in what ended up happening. Perhaps, because then you, you reduce the time for like interactions. Yeah. Because everyone has to have a chance to try and do something. Well, and we'll talk about the editing of snatch game. It was very confusing. We find out that Angeria is going to do Tammy Brown. I was excited. I, I mean, it didn't end it up. It didn't end up well, but I, but I was fun, excited. Fun choice. Yeah. A weird, yeah. a weird fun choice. I don't see choice. you walking children in nature and, well, come on, Teletubby. <laughs> Teleport us Teleport to Mars. Teleport us to Mars. Change your costume. Change it around. You know, lots of good, yeah. <laughs> she didn't say any of those. Any of those. I think she might have done children in nature. Uh, I think it was like a response. Maybe, maybe, But it maybe. needed to be, anyway, it was a. Excuse you? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse, Excuse your, your mouth? mouth? She didn't have that. The sassy side. No, it's true. It's just the quirky it was just side. The, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Deja <laughs> yes. announces that she's gonna do Little John, and I was like, Oodalali, Oodalali, golly, what a day. Oh, oh no, I don't know. Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. Oodalali, Oodalali, golly, what a day. <laughs> I like that you said yeah. Little John. Yeah. Wait, is it not Little John? It's. I think it's Lil. Oh. I think. I love Little John. I do too. Have you done Little John before? Uh, anyway, I thought he was in the Sherwood Forest with his love merry it. men, and I was like, how weird. <laughs> Maybe fun? I like it. Oh. Different. Little John. You, you are so stupid. <laughs> Little John is a rapper from the ATL. I have no idea who that person is. Not a clue. Never heard nothing. I think if you, if I played you the song circa 2008, you would be like, oh yeah, that played like everywhere for, uh, you know, I still have my doubts, but well, um, perhaps. The, yeah, yeah, it was an honest song. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So quick most break and we're back with Snatch Game. I mean, you know, we'll talk about it. We'll talk Low about lights. it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> so our guest contestants are Raven yeah. and Dove Cameron, both awesome. Yep, we're great. Both birds. You, they, they did that. Did you notice it? No. Oh, when their names came up, it was like Raven and it was a Raven bird. That's and I was dumb. like, that's stupid. And then it was like Dove Cameron and it was a dove. And I was like, this is really dumb. I like that someone just had fun with that. That was someone, some... 
some lowly PA or assistant, <laughs> what assistant if we made editor. It birds as their let's little, just do yeah. it. That'd be fun, right? That'd be stupid. Yeah, let's do it. I love we that. don't have a headshot for Dove. What if we just put a Dove in? And it's Dove and Raven. They'll be birds. Oh my God, that'd be great. <laughs> love that. Yeah. Well, I think we all know who won Snatch Game. Raven. It was Raven. I'd like to say crotch. Yeah, because it's Prince Harry, right? Yeah, but that would be unsutter. <laughs> <laughs> she was like owning them. Where are the jokes? Raven told them. Raven told all the jokes. <laughs> I love the weed and I love the ass. Ooh, a girl after my own heart. Sounds like Tuesday evening <laughs> and Wednesday. <laughs> Oh no, maybe Raven needs to stop being a contestant. Because remember she messed up Tatiana. I mean, not, but like Tatiana got in her head about, in All Stars, remember? No. When she did Ariana Grande, mm. it was Raven and I think Juju that were the, and she was like, Raven was my main antagonist. Right. I still have unresolved feelings. Sure. Sure. And she like, at least that's the story we were told. Maybe Raven, it's too, she, she's too much. It is. She, I mean, I will say that is a, it is a tough one. We've had two... And she might have been on more Snatch Games that I'm forgetting, Possibly, but yeah. um, I do remember that being a thing. Yeah, could be tough. Maybe that's part of the problem. Who knows? Get Kathy and Jimmy and Sherry O'Terry up in there. Oh my God, absolutely. Now, a show with Jimmy and Sherry O'Terry as like sisters? Sisters. Living in Missouri or somewhere, right? Sure. Midwest sisters. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Who own a craft shop. Love it. Right? Yes. Yes. And okay. they're, one of their kids comes home from the big city, uh -huh. shaking things up. Yep. We're going to do some more fun new stuff at the craft store. Ooh, uh-oh, look Small out. Small town, weird Christopher Guest. Yeah. People. Okay. What? Yeah. Bring in some Rachel Dratch and some Maya Rudolph and Love just it. like little guest appearances, Call little fun in. things. Be fun. Love that. I'd watch the shit out of that. Absolutely. Now, what's it called, though? It's got to be something crafty and fun. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. I like that. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, Snatch Game. We have to talk about it, I guess. So I know they all blamed Willow for cursing them, <laughs> where she was like, you know, there's going to be one challenge where we all bomb. I mean, sure, okay. <laughs> but, uh... but honestly, I think that it's the Shakespearean curse. Did she say Macbeth? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Quiet, you blundering fool. You curse us all. What, by saying Macbeth? Stop saying it! But remember the the last time that there was like everyone failed. You all are terrible. Oh, I've never been. Oh, the Shakespeare. Yes, that's right. And so maybe Shakespeare's homophobic. He's like, no. no. Well, drag. Yeah. Shakespeare. Drag. Dressed it's as like girl. A, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Just I, putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Who knows? No There's one do Shakespeare. Ancient ever curse. <laughs> yeah. Brought upon. I mean, uh, I don't think anyone was really doing Shakespeare. Well, no. Miss Lady Camden, she is Beethoven, right? <laughs> so Lady Camden is Shakespeare. Slash um, Patsy Stone. Patsy Stone. Slash, she looked like the king in Shrek. With the, the, little, wig. the little flip. Yeah. And yeah. I love that she painted on tits. So I was like, now Shakespeare's... Okay. Yeah. I like it. I don't I don't know what this is. It's different. Yeah. It's strange. She stayed in character. She was real sassy and weird. Yeah. It was kind of entertaining. I guess. I didn't a think it was terrible. No. I thought it was perfectly safe. I hope so, darling, because I've got an answer for you, darling, and it's hanging low. Yeah. <laughs> in a sea of, you know. Right, in a sea of disaster. Uh, but she didn't flatline for me. I get that. I she get that. had a character and stayed in said character. Yes. That much can't be said for the next person, which was Jasmine, who was Betsy DeVos, I think. Mm -hmm. She didn't really appear in this episode. No, she really didn't. I thought this was such a mistake from conception. Yeah. You know, um... And, and, well, at this point, the, the world's moving so fast, this reference was dated. Yep. Like, I was like, no one's talking about Betsy DeVos anymore. No one's talking about it. But also, like, it was filmed after, like, she no longer had a job. So I was like, why are we doing this? Then make your, make the angle, like, I got fired! And that's, like, maybe right. that's... I, no. Still, it's a no, but maybe... I think, for me, unless you're going to do it really, really well, but like, it's really got to be, wow, leave politics out of Snatch Game, you know? Yeah, it just... It's always dated. It's always dated, and it's always a downer. Yeah. It's just like, I don't need to be reminded of that in Snatch Game. After a long day at work, I don't need to see that. 
You know, you can do a different challenge where it's like, yes, drag is political. Yes, drag is art that's saying something. Yeah. But don't do it in Snatch Game. Well, it didn't work out. No. That, that much is true. Yes. So then next was Angie is Tammy Brown. And I mean, like we said, I mean, really, she just didn't go anywhere with this. She sort of had the mannerisms, had the... Um, but then it was one note. It was just that. I think the that. outfit could have been so much more fab. It was just sort of like drab. Yeah, give me wacky prints and like... Some, yeah. She has such a style yes. and her makeup is so um, specific yes. and the makeup wasn't really there. Um, well, the it, look could have been much stronger. I agree. And it would have helped. Yes. And there's stuff too that like you could reference from like her career after Drag Race yeah. where it's like, let's bring more into this. It was, yeah. it just wasn't fully realized. Was it? She's always like, she's like a no palm oil queen. Like she's always oh, talking about her, like, yeah, no palm oil. I'm a queen with a cause. Palm oil. I don't know. There's things you could have. I don't know how you make that funny. Funny, but yeah. They managed to do it on Grace and Frankie. Oh, did they? They made it funny. Oh, okay, great. Ish. Mm. While still shining a light. No palm oil. And then also sometimes they disguise palm oil as vegetable oil. You just take the earth and shove it up your ass. Well, bye. Oh boy, and then this one really bummed me out because I'm a huge Alana Glazer fan and Georges just was Georges. With a wig, a frizzy wig. Yeah. You know. It was I, um, not great. It was not great. Um, I, sh did she not? She didn't commit. No. There was no like oomph behind it. Yes, queen, yes, queen, yes, queen. You have to be able to really get her mannerisms. Yeah. Tough choice. I feel like she probably could have picked a lot of other people that would have been better. Yeah. It seemed like, and maybe this was an Untucked, which I think I watched. I don't remember. I did not. That much I know. Honestly don't remember. But at some point I feel like there was a conversation backstage mm -hmm. about rules that production gave them. About who they could pick. Yes. Mm. And like what they had to do and how it had to be. Or it like seems like it's becoming more specifically narrow. Yeah. And I'm like, that's a bad choice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, I just still don't understand. There shouldn't be any rules at all. It's parody. So it's fair. You, you can parody anyone. It can be a character that you can parody. That's okay. That's allowed. They right. do it on SNL all the time. I guess they're like legal department is... More super gun shy I don't know but don't I'm like know. it needs to end yeah they need to refigure yeah. rejigger the whole yeah. thing because yeah, this was not good it no. was forgettable yes but next up Will Pell as Drew Barrymore oh my god so excited to be here I woke up at 660 which is also known as 7 o'clock <laughs> and I did a sun salutation to my statue of Steven Spielberg I didn't think this was great no but I thought she had a lot to say and there was some stuff I found funny when she talked about wanting to be buried under an avocado tree. <laughs> I love avocados. When I die, I want to be buried under an avocado tree. That way people can have me on their toast. So everyone could spread her on their toast. I was like, well, that's silly and fun. And also something that Drew Barrymore would probably say. Drew Barrymore would definitely say. And that's might what have I was said. like, yes. Like there was a few things where I was like, yes to this. It was almost there for me. I, I would definitely put her in like the Lady Camden, this is safe-ish. This was safe for me and also, well, I guess let's talk about stuff on a whole, a little bit in general. Sure. Roop was not having what they were selling. No. All right. Well, we are looking for a toilet. That is not a toilet. At all. So that didn't help. No. It seemed like, because she came in hot on Willow. I guess you forgot that we worked together for a whole summer on another <laughs> show. Did you forget we were on a show together? And Willow was like, oh, redirect, uh, Ooh, fuck. And so I think something was, the, the, the mood in the room started wrong. Yes. But then also, did you notice that throughout, they weren't going in order? Moving on down, Bill Shakespeare. Drew, what's your answer? Then they'd pop back up and be like, Betsy DeVos, what's your answer? They, were, they don't usually do that. Oh, really? Where they bounce. Not, it didn't seem like not this much. Usually it's generally in order because people are piggybacking off stuff that other people have said. So you kind of right. have to keep the continuity somewhat. And mm. I don't know if this was just a desperate, we have to figure out something, but they were doing a lot of lower people, higher back forth right. all around, which the flow felt really weird the whole huh. time. And meet and greet You lines. said meet and greet. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's move on down to Alana. Huh. So for me, that was screwed up 
Because yeah. usually it'll be like, oh, well, Lady Camden said that thing in this answer, so I'm going to piggyback off that for this. Right. And it's like a game of telephone. Yeah. But this was like, beep, beep, bop, boop. It was weird. Yeah, that is. I agree with you. I think Rue really was just like, oh, you didn't remember I was in your show? She, she, I mean, it was just like, there was an attitude coming off of yes. Rue. That's all I'll say. And that does shut things down. Yeah. You know? it, well, because this whole thing is yes and, right? right. It's a safe space. Let's yeah. have fun. Let's yeah. play together. Yeah. And it felt like, no, you're not being funny at all. Yes. Her poop. Dendai is awful, Rue. Oh, okay. It's quiet on set. And then that, of course, puts the pressure on even more, where you get like frantic, and you're like, "Well, but nothing's funny. Oh my god, nothing's landing now. What do I do? I'll get crazier. Sticking my smush smush. Sticking my smush smush. You know, bury that. The level. <laughs> Professional. Far too much. Far too much. Deja. Next up was Deja as Little John. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I can't do it as well. Yeah. Is that kind of? No, it's like you got to get the scratchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go ahead. You got to wait, wait, wait. Don't know. You didn't okay. do it right. All right. You got to go. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I thought this was okay. I don't know. I thought it was funny. I thought it was fun. I thought it was the best one. Rather than just being yeah, she did actually incorporate yeah. other things and jokes. It was mostly yeah. Well... And then Rue loved that, right? Most and of it was, yeah. I don't know what was going on. The editing, it felt like they went, oh, we don't know what to do. Well, I think that was the case. Oh, no. It had to have been for them to really just be like, no, no one's safe. You Except know what I mean? Deja. Well, sure. I mean, I guess also, why not just be like... You're all in the bottom. Yeah, Deja, you Deja, did the best, you but like, girl. you were the best, girl. but girl. Because <laughs> I didn't think it was that great. I thought it was comparatively not bad, but in a regular Snatch game, it would have been like, yeah, it was safe. It was safe. Personally, sure. you know, had she made some uh, Will Scarlet uh, Robin no. Hood made Marion jokes, maybe it would have, no? No. Uh, so the next was Bosco as Gwyneth Paltrow. And this what really- What does she th have against Gwyneth? Her makeup. Oh my God, right? It looked like Gwyneth Paltrow just got back from the surface of the sun. Yeah. She was so sunburn looking. It, it was... I was really confused. I was like, is this- What's going on with Gwyneth right now? I haven't been looking at her skincare routine, but well, I was confused about the look. Sure. And the voice. Well, the voice. I mean, pretty much all of it, I would say. This was a I real did, flat line for Bosco for me. I did laugh, and no one else did, at the kombucha. Uh, <laughs> it was dumb. It was That dumb. made me laugh. I it was, was like, dumb. that's only so fun. And that's realistic to goop. Right? And when she said, Drew, because that's all we can say legally. That made me laugh. That made me laugh too. So yeah. I was like, well, that was fun. Droop. It is what we can say on television without getting sued for mentioning my actual company. It reminded me a little bit of when she was doing the, the acting challenge and she was like, I'm going to be Reba. And it was like, that's... Ghost Reba. Ghost Reba. Yeah. yeah. And now this is Sunburnt Gwyneth. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know. She has trouble doing other people... Yeah, makeup. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. This leaned too much into the goop of it all and not enough into just like making I fun of I wasn't in Spider-Man. Exactly. <laughs> I wasn't in Spider-Man. Remember we were on Spider-Man? We yeah. weren't in Spider-Man. Yes, we, yes, we were. Homecoming. You were in Spider-Man. No. If Rue was like, remember that show? I wasn't on that show. Right? <laughs> I was in Spider-Man. What are you talking about? That was Spider-Man. That was Spider-Man? <laughs> oh my God. Lean into that. I'm so rich. I can't even can't. keep track of where I am of it all. Maybe. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who could do a good Gwyneth. It's oh, like somebody a, could. I'm sure. It was, a, it was a, not a bad choice. It just, no. this didn't, it wasn't fully formed. And and like I said, the, the vibe in the room was you guys aren't funny. Well, right, <laughs> right. I'm not laughing or having a good time. I'm only laughing at Raven. Oh. I feel like maybe she needed more props for the droopery. A yoni egg that pops out. Oh, it's ready to hatch. I don't know. Something? My chakras have aligned. Uh, sure. Are you a fan of my Yonic light bearers? Yes. What does this one smell like? Yonic. My Yonic light bearers, which oh. was just candles. There was some, there was, this wasn't terrible. It just wasn't great. Yeah. I don't think we had such high expectations sure, that it fell sure. fault 
fell more than we thought. Yeah. Well, and like, yeah, the, the timing perhaps and the delivery of like the voice then also takes you out of it. And so then like, yeah, because normally her delivery is so great, but the deadpan of it all yeah. isn't Gwyneth at no, all. No, no. Gwyneth is such an innocent. Yeah. What? Like Yannick Lightberries. Oh, but also like, it's the, like you know, the sincerity behind yes, the Yes. The, you know Very that. That. Yeah. There was no uh like, oh Shakespeare, my love, we're reconnected or you know, Right. Like, oh, thank you for getting me my Oscar. You know, nothing. What light through doth window you know, she just starts breaking into <laughs> Sure. Like now. Oh no. sorry, I'm getting back into character Oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Oh boy, and then last up was Diabetti as Ozzy Osbourne. This was like zombie Ozzy. Felt like a it's really like the dated reference too. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you do with this other than what she did with this. Right. Well, no, I disagree because Ross made me laugh as at his Ozzy or was it Carson? I don't know. This is like actually like Sharon fuck was a door and then ah, unconscious. Yeah, that's much better. Yes, I just other than like yelling and being confused well, sure. and. I don't know. It seems like a little sad at this point. Yeah. She stayed in character. Sure. She had a character. Yeah. She was copying Bosco's answers. That was very which bizarre. Which was very bizarre. Based on how it's going for me, that's a choice. What was and that? Bosco was like, I don't know if you're copying my answers, Carl, because I am not doing great on this test either. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that Dove Cameron's dress, the bustier, was coin purses? No. Obsessed. Love that. And it was like those little toggles. Yeah. You know, where you go, yeah. And then I was like, wait a minute. Drag outfit, that's where you put your tips. Oh, I love it. So you don't have to hold them. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Just Let me shove them down. My tip. I'm just gonna close the coin purse. And then as you go on and the tips get bigger, the tips get bigger. Oh my God. I like it a lot. Yeah. You can have like real stretchy fabric. Uh huh. So yeah, then they desperately start cutting to people's confessionals talking about how unfunny it all is and how um, it's really quiet in the room and oh no and we're all failing yeah. during Snatch Game and yeah, I was like, like oh this is bad news guys. Yeah. That was when you were was like oh cool so everyone's going home? Great. Season's over. <laughs> the winner is Raven. Retroactively. <laughs> Everyone's getting ready in the workroom because we find out that the runway category is Holy Couture yes. and that Willow's religion is mushrooms and I'm so obsessed with this. Yeah. I worship mushrooms because I think they're just the coolest organism on the planet. I liked that they were able or, or you know, whatever, that they took like alternative approaches to yeah. holy couture. Loved it. And I and I really like, I mean, it didn't seem to matter because everyone was in the bottom, but I really liked that they weren't like, well, I don't really think of mushrooms when I think of holy, oh, blah, sure. blah, blah, yeah, that no. doesn't really fit the category. I was right. like, it's no. fine. Let's all just shh. Yeah. This is what she worships. And I am obsessed. I, yeah. I mean, I love mushrooms beyond just the fun stuff. Fungus is so interesting because it's the cycle of life. Fungus breaks everything down. And this kind of mushroom and that kind of mushroom. And Angie's like, yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, mama. I think she's what was your childhood like in, in, in Jamaica. And she's like, oh, mama, it was terrible. They tried to drown me in the ocean. I'm like, oh, my God, that's so awful. Just going to keep doing my makeup. It was good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. So Rue walks down the yeah. runway in this woven mm -hmm. pastel-y. I really liked it. I, liked I thought it. it was pretty. It, was pretty. it kind of from like afar. Like looked... an unfinished rug. Oh, okay, sure. Because I had like the edges of it. Yeah, I was going to say like the way that the pattern all wove together kind of looked like one of those iron on bead things. Sure. So first down the runway, Deja Sky, and I got to say, I think this look was enough to make her not safe for the whole episode. <laughs> I don't disagree. I mean, wow. This, this like, Tin Man Hershey kiss. Florence and the Machine middle school medieval play? Yeah. Joan of Arc book? Joan of Arc. Yeah. Not great. No. Did not care for it. She was lucky. <laughs> Tin Man Hershey kiss ballerina Hershey garbage kiss. newspaper. Oh. So next on the runway is Yasmin. You still wanted to say yes, I still wanted to say masters. Gosh. Good for her. Good the for branding. you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She came down the runway in this astrological Gemini yeah. twin yin yang, half and half. She's got Hedy Lamar's celestial headpiece from yep. that picture of Hedy Lamar with that celestial headpiece on. <laughs> Great. Uh, I liked it. 
But then she changed into a worse dress. A worse dress. That was and the was problem. Like, oh, it was no. like, oh, reveal. And then it was like, oh. It was, it was nice. It was nice. It, it, was, it did get worse. Right. That's always a tough thing when you reveal to something that's not as good. It's like, <laughs> oh, choices. So next was Angie. And this was giving me some real honk for Jesus, save your soul. Yeah. That Sundance movie with. Um, You're trying to figure out which Regina, right? Re- yep. Regina Hall. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I I love this. You know, it's classic fabulosity. Oh, yes. The hats. I mean, the hat probably could have been a little bigger because why not? But, you know. Closer to God. Is it blush or is it bashful? Oh my God. Pink is my signature color, mama. It was very that yes. south. Yes. Lacy Sunday morning church service. She had the fan. Yep. It was a, it was head to toe. Yep. It was like, yes. Yep. Could the hat be bigger? Always. always. Or it's smaller, always. One or the <laughs> yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. One or the other. More extreme. Yeah. More extreme in one direction. You take off a giant hat to reveal a tiny little fascinator. Yeah. Of Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> Crucifix. No. Anyway, I love this. Yes. It's great. Yeah. The only thing I could say is this made perfect sense and was not a surprise. Right. But like. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'm okay with you it. You nailed it. If you don't do, if you don't surprise me. Nail it. And she nailed it. Yep. And next on the runway is a well pill. It's this well mushroom sprite. Yeah. Love it. And this was, she's got some like bell bottoms. She's a bleeding tooth fungus. I mean, what can I say? Loved this. What else can I say? She this looked was... like a little enoki strawberry shortcake, you yes. know? Yes. Yes. It was very like Japanese strawberry shortcake or yes. something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Anime strawberry shortcake. Yeah, yeah. Loved it. I loved it. Yeah. It she, was weird and cute and weird and I yeah. loved it. She surprised me and nailed it. Yes. As she often does. I would say more often than not. Yeah. Next was Daya Betty as this like, I said Katy Perry bridal. I, she always looks like I Katy Perry I said Madonna bridal. Oh, okay. And she said Lady Gaga <laughs> bridal. And I was like, So uh. obviously we were not surprised, but except when she fell and I was like, Ooh, is she pulling a Lady right? Camden? No. Oh my goodness. But no, but she, she did make it work. Yeah, she made she it work. Like, really. oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh no, girl. She this, made it work. She did. This was lovely, but not exciting. It was a recreation of a look. Right. It was nice. Yeah, it was well put together. Yeah. Certainly. So then next on the runway was George's as the Pope of Emerald City. <laughs> I mean, that's all I could say. Well, it was the Pope of Mile High City. No, that's I, that's in the airplane. Well, it's Denver. Oh, is the Mile High City. Right. But I was trying to get to like a high because it was a joint, yeah. you know. And Denver also it was one of the first places to legalize marijuana. Ma- legal wise. To legalize marijuana. marijuana. It didn't look like a joint. So for me, I was like, ah, oh, she's dressed like the Pope of, of Emerald, Emerald City. City. <laughs> who is also rather slutty. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. She's living in whatever the equivalent of Vatican City is in Emerald City. She's got her own little. Yeah. Swiss guard, you know, but they're all in different greens. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think she needed to take some tips from Laganja Estranja. The biggest thing I think was she needed to bedazzle her joint. Oh, yeah. Like there should have been red stones at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. In the shape of a marijuana leaf. Oh, and then give me like fun. little like green and, and yeah, silver yeah. stones yeah. and diamond, you know, like whatever all along the side of it. Make it like a real fashion piece, you know? Yeah. As opposed to just like, here's a giant paper machine joint. And then I think joint. it should have been a working purse that you open to pull out a joint. Ooh, sure. Right? Love that. That's fun. Yeah. Or, or a lighter. a pipe or, well, something. you probably can't do that on TV, but. Yeah, Tommy Chong went to something. jail oh. years ago wow. for selling like pot accessories online. <laughs> Well, before, now before, that's before, right. Before, yeah. In the before yeah. time. In the before time. But like he fully went to jail. That's right. For yeah. like selling pipes online. That's so stupid. Because it could so be for stupid. anything. That's That was what he said. Yeah. The devil's lettuce because it's all day every day. It wasn't fully there. Yeah. Yeah. The next is Lady Camden de Berg. And this was... Uh... Well, it was disappointing because we had had Night of a Thousand Spice Girls. Sure. And sure. we'd seen Charity Case. Yes. And I'm still not over it, and I'm still not over the fact that she went home in that look. I cannot. Oh, no, she didn't go home in that look, but she was in the bottom. She did lip sync, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. At yeah. least she lip synced with that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But I do love, in theory, the, mm-hmm. just the idea that what, holy couture, Spice Girls. Yes, love, I do love that. Love I do love that. that in theory, yes. Obsessed. I agree. I agree. It just wasn't as refined it an idea. It wasn't just make it um, more couture or less yes. couture. Well, Something, right. it was just sort of a Mel B outfit. 
A little bit. And you I know? guess that's a good point, too, is that the category was also holy couture. So it's got to be refined. It's got to be fashion. Yeah. You know, it can't yeah. just be like, oh, yeah, I wear my girl power outfit. Wait, but is it fashion? <laughs> it's fashion. <laughs> Hey, shut up! God, Bob, don't look at me! Okay, here we go. It's faster. It's faster, guys. Stop! <laughs> yeah. It was cute. It was cute. Oh my god. So the next on the runway was Pasco. What is it you cannot face? Oh my god. What is it you can't face? What is it you can't face? What is it? Yeah. Obsessed. Yes. With this nun outfit and the first ever habit reveal. I love that! This is the first ever habit reveal in Drag Race history. Okay. To reveal this bondage nun yes. with hooves. Yes. Oh my God, I am so obsessed with this. Yes. Yeah. I was surprised because some of the looks were so strong that they were all on the bottom, honestly. I do get that, yeah. I get that. Because it's like, well, yes, the Snatch Game was bad, but certain performances weren't so awful. Right. And some of the runways were great. Yeah. That you could have been like, well, let's just But they decide. had a plan and they-, they did. They they did their plan. But yeah. this was everything. Yeah, it really was. And I was obsessed with it. Yeah. So we get to the judging. Um, Michelle's uh, d diatribe thesis. The investigation continues. This. Oh, I forgot about all of that. Yeah. I did not care. I'm not here to shame. I'm here to investigate and find out what had happened. They didn't get to the bottom of anything, by no. the way. What went wrong? Well, Rue was in a bad mood. Right, Rue needed another coffee enema. Oh my god, she definitely should have had a coffee enema before yeah. Snatch Game. Yes. She would have been like, what are you talking about, Rue? We were on that show together? What? Are you talking about avocados? What? <laughs> Would have been great. Like, if she had encouraged them, even slightly, yes. it would have made it better. It would have been. It would have turned the beat around, and she did not help. It was not it. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, they... They just basically go down the line and are like, why were you terrible? Right. Why were you terrible? Yeah. It was a, it was something. I will I say, I, we forgot to mention, Dove Cameron was back as a judge. Yeah. I thought she was great. She had her Harley Quinn hair. She was fun. She I like her. She was really fun. Great. I thought she had really insightful feedback for them. She was really smart about, uh, I'm going to not mention the bad thing you did, right. but praise the thing I did really like, but also not say that the other thing was good. Sure. But this is this great. Don't look yep. over there. Look at this. This is nice. You did great with that. Was it my favorite performance? No. But I do think that I, I fell in love with you because you seemed to me like you were having so much fun. I did watch Untucked because she came back and talked to them. And I was like, oh, I like Dove Cameron. She's great. Yeah, I still don't know who she is. But um, <laughs> she seems to have been on some sort of child TV show that I did not watch because I was not a child at the time. Yes, but then uh, people... She oh, was she was in some live musical. Yes. Hairspray. Yep. I didn't see that, I, though. I didn't watch it. But then she was also in something else, and I was like, oh, Shmigadoon. I love that. Schmigadoon. Oh, yeah, I love Schmigadoon. Ish. What was that? Schmigadoon was the Apple TV show where it's like... Um, I'm confusing it with... What was that Christmas movie we watched that was a joke on Comedy Central? Didn't that have a name that was similar? A blah 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 Christmas, uh, and it was their last yes. name. Uh, 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 yes, a a house or like a a fucking fucking Christmas, a very funk funk funky Christmas. A cluster funk. Cluster funk. <laughs> <laughs> we got there in the end. <laughs> That's where I wow. went. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, similar-ish. Okay. Schmigadoon, yeah. obviously, the play on Brigadoon. Yes. It's Sicily Strong. You know, like like. Uh, the jingle, the jingle, oh yeah, jingle. yeah. I, I, now yeah. I'm there. So it's basically they were like, "Hey, how could we turn that idea into a TV show?" What? Why aren't I watching this? Well, because it was ups and downs. Keenan, Keenan Michael Keys is that a name? Not well. There's Keenan Ivory Wayans. Okay. There's Keenan, Keenan and Kel. Keenan. Right. Michael Thompson. Thompson. Thomas Thompson. Thomas. Why my brain's not working today? Yes, Keegan Michael Key. Keegan Michael Key. It yeah. plays her like boyfriend and they are on a trip and they like land in this magical musical world where everything's a musical. I saw the ad for this and it looked bad. It That's why I didn't watch it. There were ups and downs. Okay. Honestly, you could watch just um Crypt Keeper. What's her name? Um Oh my god, that's so rude and I know exactly who you're talking about. Well, that's why I said it, because I knew you would know. <laughs> because you've said it before. That's why so rude. Chris and Chenoweth. Yes, Chris and Chenoweth. <laughs> Chris. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Kristen Chenoweth has like a musical number. <laughs> Coming out of the tomb. <laughs> ah. A little bit. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah. Uh, she has a musical number. <laughs> She has a musical number where they kind of redo, uh, you know, Trouble and Capital T and... and um, Trouble, Capital T. It, music Mayor? Yeah. The homeless women and hooch happy sinners. A petting pantry in the middle of the street. Is that what our town's become? Spectacular. I mean, it's a one -er. She's a fantastic... She's uh, a, yeah, a love her. amazing talent. Yeah. But it was amazing. Like, they do this whole one -er throughout this talent okay. lot. It was like, honestly... If you just watched that, you'd be okay. Great. But the show did have its moments. It just was a little bogged down. But I did enjoy it. I, there's like eight episodes. Just watch it. Okay. They're 30 Half minutes. Hour? Yep. Okay. That Love makes it. a big difference. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, and then they're talking to Willow and they, they talk about Uma Thurman. What did, how did this come up? Uma Thurman made this. Oh, you should have done Uma Thurman for Snatch Game. I was like, oh, don't, no, don't do that. Girl. Don't do that. <laughs> That's not funny this at is, all. I, like, what are you going to do about Uma Thurman? Who made this outfit? Um, Eda Birthing made Who? it. Eda Birthing. Uma Thurman. Oh, Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman Uma made Thurman. this. Oh, great. I love yes. her work. Uh, Sounded like Uma or right. something. Right. And so Rue yeah. was like, apparently also those kind of like shutting it down was what I gathered from people commenting. Oh. I don't know that I was picking up on that. I didn't really bother to investigate further because I just didn't care. Right. But someone can write a concise explanation. That'd be lovely. Sure. I genuinely do not know what angle you could make Uma Thurman funny on Snatch nope. Game with. Maybe later we'll have a five dollar milkshake. Yeah, how about a Royal with cheese? <laughs> See what I mean? Like, That's like a horrible, I like horrible literally advice. can't even think of a thing to do. Like, I genuinely, I don't know. No, no shade to Uma Thurman. No, she's just. She's just Uma Thurman. Unreproachable what do you, or whatever. Do you, like, yeah. I don't even know. I don't. She doesn't have particular mannerisms. No. Nope. She doesn't have a particular way of talking. I guess you could dress like Kill Bill and behead some people, but like, what are we doing? Well, that'd be a lie. You could you could do like the producers. She was in the remake of the producers, oh, but that was probably me. one of the worst parts don't of that. Don't remind me about that part of it. Oh, <laughs> still upset. Yeah. So still upset. Yeah. Oh, uh, Deja wins. Yep. Deja is safe. That's right. But she wins too. Well, I guess she did win. I guess you're right. That would have been shade if it was like Deja, you're, you're safe. safe. Everyone else is in the bottom. There is no winner. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what I should have done. That's what should have happened. Yeah. Yeah. You are all up for elimination. Shut the f And so let's talk about it. Great. After this commercial break. Mm. <laughs> so yes, here we are. Episode 11. Yeah. Is that right? It is right. Episode 11. You know what's so funny? I think I knew. Because at the beginning of last week's episode, I was like, oh, it's episode 11. And then I crossed it out. I was like, no, I think it's 10. Oh. Uh and so I just knew that it was inconsequential. <laughs> so everyone comes back in. No one has gone home. Right. But they are shooketh. And Daya has feelings. Oh my god, yes she about does. About it. Yep. No offense. No offense. Noah fence. <laughs> Noah a man. Noah J fence. Yeah. <laughs> Noah JK fence. I love that Deja is like trying to joke around and everyone was okay. like, don't joke about that wrong. Baby seven. We have to find humor in it because no one else on Human Snatch Game, okay? <laughs> oh, we are, it's not time yet. I Deja had to make a like, joke because no one was laughing at our Snatch Game. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. I do like Deja. I, 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 I'm hard on her, but it's just because she's, Her outfits have been it's, it's not great. unfortunate. She's really fun, especially backstage. Yes. And I just would love to see that translate a little bit more. And uh -huh. I would love to see the only look of hers that I've cared for is the shoulders. And I know that you didn't even like it that much. It was, I, it was That was the best one. Certainly her best look. Certainly the best. And I liked it. Yeah. It just wasn't... Uh, sure. um, it was no atomic wedgie. You know, I mean, what is? So there's that. But yeah. yeah. Well, and... Well, a couple of things. I thought, oh, it's exciting. We get to see everyone perform. Yes. Except Deja, which I think will end up hurting her in the long run. Like when she was like, I'm safe. Who cares? That's Everything's true. great. I'm just like, this sucks for you, actually. A little bit. Yeah. You're not participating. Because we've never seen her perform, huh? Yeah, She's did. kind of been sneaky. No, remember she was the lip sync assassin? The first oh, that's week. right. And we were like, mm. Deja Sky, Shantae Yuste. Apparently there is a lip sync assassin among us. I mean, it wasn't that. But no, but it was like not an assassin. 
and then we saw George's. Right. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we got a, oh, I redacted. <clears throat> <laughs> they actually took that from the next episode. They just, you know, re there was definitely a reaction of someone. Mm. Maybe it was Jasmine or someone dabbed. Oh, it was Lady Camden. Camden. Ooh. And I was like, that's definitely from some other thing that they used. That was not from, <laughs> that was not her reaction to this. Everyone's getting ready. No one knows, ooh, what's going to happen? What's the Smackdown yeah. going to be? Yeah. Um, I like that, again, that, that Deja was like, I mean, what could it be? Is it going to be everyone lip syncing by themselves? Right. Are they yeah. going to bring other queens yeah. back? Is it going to be other, other ones? Wait, they could bring it? other queens back? <laughs> oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Do you think I could go home tonight? <gasps> it was very fun. Bitch, what if they brought back the other girl? <gasps> Shut up! She was at least keeping it light. Everyone yes. else was obviously for you the know, producers you know. needed her to bring some levity because everyone was in their heads. But I did appreciate the conversations they were having of yeah. like the philosophy of it, and it's like, well, this is what we fucking do, and it's like, well, mm -hmm. but some of us can do all of it, and some of us maybe can't. Or right? Some of us... What kind of genre? What yeah. do you like to do? What is your main like type of song to perform? I like to make my own mixes and make like a, a story. Well, I usually like to do a mix of things and do my own track, yeah. and I was like, that makes. Sense. I'd love to see it. Yeah. Show. Well, she could have done a talent show, perhaps, but yes, but they probably I mean, her would, talent show was they probably wouldn't let her. Maybe not. But there's too many. Too many things they'd have to clear. Maybe or whatever yeah. it is. But I would love to see a lip sync a challenge. But anyway, it's yeah. fine. We're not. It's never gonna happen. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Nobody laughs at me because I laugh first at me. This is really happening. I, I mean, like, they cleared seven different rights for this That's episode. true. And th those songs weren't nothing. They were not nothing. And George's signature move of punching the ghost. Oh, my God. Yes. Punching the ghost. Yes. Punching the ghost. Punching punch the ghost. ghost. <laughs> punch that ghost. That was the first part. Now yep. we're at the lip sync. Yeah, they spent a long back time. down off. I will say by the end of the episode, I was like, I'm cool. Can we change up this editing somehow? Sure. I don't need to hear Rue say you're going to lip sync for your life right. every no, we, time. We get it. I don't need to have the same exact camera move every time. I don't need to yep. see the TV go off every time. Every time. time. Like, yeah. Guys, we got it. They did stop doing the gray TV, but yes. It was just like, okay. Yeah. This is, this is the pork chop lounge again, where right. it's just like, Absolutely. I got it. Yep. We need to freshen this up somehow. Yep. Figure Trim out it down. how to yep. mix and match, do yep. different things. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. But anyway, Rue walks down the runway in this cheetah red coat. Yeah. Belted fingerless glove. Brian said it was like Sex in the City 3, like. Is that a thing? Cruella. Well, no, remember it was famously canceled because. Kim Control, Kim Control doesn't was... need that in her life. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, I sadly, I mean, I, I did watch all of and then that happened. Oh no. Or, and. So it goes. And. And just like that. And just like that, we forgot the name. <laughs> was it good? Oh no, it's absolute garbage, but I did watch all of it. I mean, was it good? Like to. Like, kind of. Okay. It did scratch so many of those similar itches that Sex in the City did, where I was just like, there's something comforting about this. There's okay. something where I just want to... It's not quite the same as Gilded Age, where you're just like a, a warm blanket of like, you know, someone... I, someone Silks. tweeted. Well, honestly, yes, that. And yes. Someone tweeted that it was like, immediately brings you to like your grandparents' house and you just need like a ginger ale, you know? Mm. My grandma would make me cinnamon toast and I could eat it in bed. It was like the most exciting thing. Of course. I would watch Bewitched. But, you know, also I would watch The Gilded Age. It makes sense. Just Bewitched? Not I Dream of Jeannie as well? Oh, definitely. Okay, great. Block Party Summer would be where it was all at. <gasps> do they do that still? They should. They should. That was an event. Yeah. Also, like, why not program that for, like, a streaming service or something, right? Like, ooh, we've, we've this right? is the stuff, like, we've programmed these things. There should be more, I mean, because, like, Gilded Age is coming out once a week. Yes. I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea. There should be, like, a... Again, build up a, yeah. uh, ooh, what's going to be next? Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. exciting. Right. Ooh, we're releasing from the vault. You know, like, here's this thing. Yeah. Every, every week we got three different Columbia shows. House. Here is your VHS. Just exactly. something. It's yeah. exciting. But anyway, the Lip Sync Smackdown. Yes. We find out. I'm going to do the rules real quick. We're okay. never talking about them again. Yep. I was very confused, by the way, even though they talked about it. It a took lot. me a long time to Calyx get Alex really confused you? Oh, my God, right? To determine the first queen to lip sync, Calyx will randomly choose one ball. 
Calix. Calix? As someone with a weird name, I was delighted. I was like, what's this? There's a man in a Speedo that says box spinning a golden bingo ball a, pit. A trombola. A trombola, whatever the fuck. Calix. Yeah. What does your ball say? What's happening? I loved it. Yes. Obsessed. Yes. It was nonsense. Maybe have him switch out just for funsies. Switch out what? Bryce, outfits? Oh, what sure. What does your ball say? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but yeah, sure. sure. But Calix was there. And um, he's going to pick the ball with the queen's name. Yep. Whoever queen he picks then gets to pick their opponent. Yep. Whoever opponent they pick gets to pick of a list of songs. Yes. That's how it went down. If you lose the lip sync, you're in the ball pit and yes. you have to wait till your next turn and it's narrowing it down until there's only two left and one of them goes home. Yeah. Those be the rules. Yeah. Calix picks Jasmine Kennedy's ball. Yes. And she's like, ha ha, Daya. And then they're like, oh, but Daya, you get to pick the song. And she's like, ah, oh, fuck. fuck. I mean, you should be able to do all of it. Like the whole oh, I, point I is I thought that, this was great, actually. Yep, I thought I really, everyone had a, I mean, I definitely want to pick the song. If I get to pick the person versus, you want to pick the song. Yeah. But we'll find out, you know, later people were, people were rather smart with their choices. So Jasmine picks Daya. Daya picks Respect by right. Aretha Franklin. And I was surprised. She turned it out for me. I really was like, okay. I thought she did really good. I don't know. I At this point, when Jasmine lost this lip sync, I was like, oh, so Rue just wants to send Jasmine home. Because I thought she was really better. I disagree. Not above and beyond better, but I... When she was um, pounding her pussy to sock it to me, I mean, it really made me laugh. <laughs> I thought they both did a really good job. Mm -hmm. But for me, Jasmine was in a very just kind of like smiley, I'm singing vibe. Sure. And it was also hard then to see if she knew all the words. Okay. Whereas for me, Daya was really giving me chewed and emotion and like, you better respect. You know, and I was like, yes, but she had like kind of that fiery you anger. Respect yes, that, that I am entitled to. Why can't you give me the respect that I'm entitled to? There was a couple times too where I found myself being like, oh, that means that we don't get to watch Angie do it. I mean, I, I can't deny it. The thought crossed my mind. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was like, I'm living for it low key, but it sounded like they said, I'm living for it low key. I'm kind of living for it low key. <laughs> like L O K I. Like, yeah, like Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. I'm living for it low key. Low key. I love it. Like Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I also loved, I think it was Jasmine who said, I'm going to shablangela all over this. Yes! I, like, I am ready to shablangela all over the stage. You're stupid. I will say, by this episode, we've, you know, complained somewhat about Jasmine or whatever. Oh, actually, I've really enjoyed actually, Jasmine. Actually, we haven't. No. Daya has. Daya has. Yeah, that's true. I really like Jasmine <laughs> a too. lot. And she has such a fun presence and attitude and the... She was starting to really catch up to Bosco on the confessional. Yeah. You know, yes, that's greatness. true. Yeah. And by this episode, particularly, I was like, I really like Jasmine. Like, I she really like. So fun. Yeah. I really liked her. I don't think that she was going to be able to make it all the way. No. But I think she'll make a great all star. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Well, then she does a flip into a shablamshala. Yeah. <laughs> shablamshala. And then she's suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me. Um, I don't know. I think this was neither of their particular genres. Sure. And so I was kind of like, yeah, give it to Jasmine. I get that. I mean, you know, Daya, I would say for me, Daya and Jasmine have had similar level performances throughout the season. Yeah. And so I'm kind of like, well, why not? But I honestly really did think that Daya turned this I one out. For I me. should watch back. You maybe. Because she just gave me so much more with her mouth and her, like, also, Ooh. this look. Oh, can we talk about the look? These fucking pink berets, this hideous hair. It looked like she got ran over by a tar. Like she had tire tracks on her face. And then this like quilted pink Madonna corset bra. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say this on a whole. Mm -hmm. Disappointed in the, there was no reveals. I think they must have told them no. You can't do anything. I think so. In part because it's like, well, when do you decide to do it? Then it becomes just like RuPaul's gimmick show. I kind of liked that it was yeah. just pure. Yes. But I was sad. Like people that had to repeat were like, I'm still in the same outfit. Well, I do agree with that. Like, I kind of wish they had like a break to go you get change, to change an outfit. If you lose, yeah. if you lose, you at least get to change. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry you lost. You go change your outfits and come back and then you can compete against the next round. Something. Yeah. Maybe. Although they had the queens in the other in the so that would have been weird. But, anyway. Yeah. Daya wins. She goes back. Yeah. Calix, what does your ball say? 
well pill. And then, I mean, okay, I know I need to get this Luther Vandross song. Right. So, who do I pick who will be most likely to pick the Luther Vandross song? Bosco. Yep. Smart. Bosco picks the Luther Vandross song. Yeah. She knows how to play the game. Yes, she does. She's very good at it. You played right into my hand. And I was nervous then because the Bosco's like, well, I karaoke to this song. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, but then, it, I mean. Oh, my God. Well, this Will... was a clear night and day winner. Willow Pell. Oh, Willow Pell in this, like, Courtney Love 90s grungy purple hair instead of blonde look. I didn't love the purple wig. I thought it was a little flat, maybe, but I didn't mind it. It was messy in a 90s Courtney sure. Love kind of way. Yes. Um, she really has the aesthetic of my youth. Yes. And therefore, I think I have a soft spot for her. <laughs> That's not the only reason why, but yes, I get it. Yes. She was also kind of giving me like Juliette Lewis vibes, which would also explain... The 90s of it all. I love it. Yeah. Yes, they have to lip sync to Never Too Much by Luther Vandross. And Willow just, I mean, became Luther Vandross? I don't know. There was like, she had the vibe. She, had the she vi got into the pocket. She was so horny. Oh my God. I mean, it was... Yes. And I was just... I mean, not hornier than Daya. Well. She comes back here, I'm going to sit on her lap. Huh. <laughs> Maybe her face if you're nasty. <laughs> I don't know what was... Maybe Daya had a coffee enema this morning. I was like, girl, what is happening? Right? She is hungry. Eight <laughs> word on me. <laughs> but I loved Willow was just really just channeling. It was interesting. Serving. Willow was exuding mm -hmm. sexuality. <laughs> And Bosco was being sexy. Yeah. And it's a diff there's a difference. Yeah. Uh, Bosco was good. It was good. But it was like, but girl. I think you could really tell through all of these that Bosco was not having fun. Yeah. She was too in her head. She, she was too, too nervous. uptight, too nervous. That she just wasn't Until having... the last it. one. Well, I, I mean, it was... it was. I think they were all good. But yeah. you could tell that she wasn't letting go and having fun. I thought by the, by the end she had let go more, let's say at least okay. somewhat. Well... well not at the end of this song, by the last I lip know. sync. Okay, yeah. great. Well, we'll talk about it. I am just so happy that I get to watch and sit back. It is so much better this way. It's like watching sports, I imagine. Willow wins. Yes. Be like watching sports, I I'd imagine. Oh, wait, we didn't talk about, I love Bosca's little Jamie Lee Curtis, like, panties. And, oh, yeah. You know, it was, like, very, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. Burlesque. Yeah. The genre of theater, not the, not the movie. movie particularly. No. Um, Wagon Wheel Watch to see. Could you imagine if Cher just came out and was like, this is the song that you're lip-syncing to. Wagon, Wagon Wheel Watch to see. But there's no lyrics to I that song. So, Calyx. Yes. What does your ball say? Uh, which ball did you pick? They said a lot of balls. Uh, he picks Georges. Calyx, please do us the honor. And it's a three-way. Yeah. And everyone is very surprised because she picked Radio by Beyonce and not Waiting for Tonight by right. Jennifer Lopez. Was it Waiting for Tonight? It no, was, it was... No, um, it was... Um, my, you can't... Love, my Love Don't Cost a Thing. Oh, yeah. Love Don't Cost... And I was like, no, that's the right choice because yeah, Love Don't Cost a Thing is like a, a pretty slow J-Lo song. Yes. Whereas the Beyonce song, dance... I mean, this was... I mean, the second that they said there was an En Vogue song, I was like, pick the En Vogue song. Yep. Pick the En Vogue. Pick, that's hard to say. Pick the En Vogue song. Yeah. Pick it. Pick it. Pick, pick it. it. Pick it right now. And yeah. I thought, oh, that would be fun because there's so many different vocals and a three-part yeah. harmony. So yeah. that could have been really fun for that the three-parter. But yeah. I didn't see George just picking En Vogue, so no. that's cool. I hate these. I hate them. It was really fun. The three-way lip I hate three-way yes. lip syncs. I agree. I, agree. I, I can't tell what I'm looking at. It was like in a round. It was like, you know, a... Uh, J Jacob, row your boat ashore? Yeah. Jacob, that's wrong. Row, row, row your boat ashore? Row, row, yeah. row your boat. Yeah, but then there's... Gently down the sea. Yeah. Row, row, row. Yeah, yeah, but then there's some other song I've conflated it with. But anyway, it was like... Ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, they were doing everything. When they did, yeah. And, and around... Then, shablam, shablam. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, she wasn't going to do it. Uh, but then she kind of did... I, I think she could have played that up a little bit more, Lady Camden. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Georgie. Oh, yes, Georgie. I think Lady Camden for me was the weakest link mm -hmm. of the three. Yes. I kind of was like really into to Angie. I couldn't take my eyes off Angie. Brian said he couldn't take his eyes off Georges. And like obviously we know that Ruby can't. Yeah. And everyone of the Queens watching were like, holy fuck, Georges. And I totally get it. She's great. I get it. But I was kind of like. There was something for me that was really Angie. working about Angie. Yeah. But Georges wins. She's great. Yeah. I get it. It's yeah. fabulous. That's fine. Yeah. It was a three-way. I, I can't. 
But Angie was like, I mean, I love a three-way. I've never done a lip sync before. But, <laughs> yeah. but this was chaotic for me, and I don't like them. Well, right. I was trying to figure out there, was, there had to have been a better way of doing it, but whatever. Put Deja in the... Well, sure. Let her do it. Yeah. Just let her yeah. compete. Yep. If George just gets love, don't cost a thing. Good luck to anybody else. I'm going to just jump off the stage onto a spike <laughs> and end it all. Jump on a spike and end it all. <laughs> but quick commercial break. Yes, and we'll be back with the next round of lip syncs. <laughs> Calix, what does your ball say? I mean, I just, I, it was, okay, sure. okay. All right. And Bosco picks Don't Let Go by En Vogue. <sighs> this brought me back. Right? back to a place that was middle school. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, this was great. Yeah. I really thought this was a good one. It was a great one. It was so close and tight. And I was like, ah, fine. Well. But there was some, Lady Camden was. Oh. When she said, what am I going to do with this fucking slow jam? I'm dressed like. I look like a giant neon pink skunk right now. I look like Sonic the Hedgehog's bitch girlfriend. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog's bitch of a girlfriend. And I was like, yes, yes. you are. You are, and I love it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. Yeah. Also, I'm excited for Sonic 2. Yeah. Yes. Well, and I thought Bosco was serving like some violet tchotchkiness too. Yeah. There was yeah. like some, it was going, it was working. It was more burlesque. It was, very, yeah. yeah vibes, yeah. that seems to be her thing. Sure. When Willow was just like, talking about Lady Kim, she's spreading on the, like butter, you okay. spread butter, right? She's no, melt. Spreading, I mean, she's, she's pouring melting, like butter. She's spreading like butter on the yeah. stage. I don't. <laughs> Oh my god, everyone was like transfixed. Like, oh my god, and Daya is just like, I want to fuck you. Flowing like butter. Does butter flow? I don't know. Butter spreads. She's spreading like butter. Immediately. I mean, I don't blame her. AF. This was, she was just sex Exuding. on the, oh, it was good. Again, oh. yeah. I felt like I wanted to be inside of Lady. Love this song. It was yeah. so good, but Lady wins. Yeah, definitely. Uh, correctly, I thought, and goes back. <gasps> And this was where I was like, well, fuck. I couldn't quite tell because of Bosco's confessional. Mm. It felt so sad. I am not going home. Well. <laughs> not going home. And I was like, oh, she might, like, that would be so fucked, though. Like, you know, I was like, How I don't know. They... For whatever reason, the second Jasmine was in the bottom, I was like, oh, Rude wants to send her home. Because I mean, that it is, makes sense. That's correct. In all of in the, the things. the trajectory that was, of yes. the things that are going on. That's she was correct. not good in the snatch game. She had been in the bottom three times already. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. But she got to lip sync Sink. the house down, boots, all of it. Fabulous. And they were all, overall, they were all really good lip syncs. Oh, yeah. Well, and the, what is going on? Why is Daya still eating bugs? There's a fly on my straw. Hello. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> a whole dollar. <gasps> oh, what the fly? What's going on? on. I don't I'm know. concerned. Right? I don't Eat it. I'll like give you a dollar. She was going to do it. Oh, she, she tried to and then it flew away. I don't like it. Uh -uh. So then Angie and Jasmine have to go and they lip sync to Love Don't Cost a Thing by J-Lo, which also brought me back to middle school. Ooh, brought me back. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. it was. This was, I think, my least favorite of the night. Okay. Again, I was like, Angie, girl. Well, certainly. You got me. Yes. She's, she's like dipping low and her pussy fringe is just like dripping on the floor. And I was like, yeah, I don't, yes. What's yeah. happening? What's going on? I, They're both in these yes. showgirls outfits and I thought this was good. It was good. I'm not saying it was bad. Really good. But it was, for me, this was one of the weaker ones. Although I do think that Angie did better and I also would have let her win the other one. Yeah. I kind of was like, maybe just pick two, like, they both could have won and then Lady Camden was the only one. So that's what I thought was going to happen, but... Whatever. Again, Jasmine was in her flash dance fantasy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> dancing her little heart out. Daya, again, is... Horny. Horny. Oh, okay, Jasmine's body looks so good there. And her legs were perfectly like this and then her back went... And it was good. You know, she finally had a chance to relax. Up. Yeah. Yes, and she it was, was just safe. like, oh, oh okay, right. Okay, I'm safe. Oh my yeah. god. Uh. I need to release this pent up energy. And somebody's going home. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I didn't actually like though um, Angie's outfit with these like no. the scoopy boobs, and then it, she kind of looked like like. I didn't love anyone's outfit. Well, no, I guess that's. I wasn't. True. Oh, we I didn't mean, talk about except, Deja's. Except Willows. Oh my god, we didn't talk about Deja's. What was this? You put her in something that made her look even more matronly. matronly. Who wants to look like their waist <laughs> fell? It was this like, I don't even, it was, oh my God. It was like 80s suit mom. Yes. Lisa Frank yes. combo of Dalmatian print 
and pink cheetah print, but in like an ugly suit with then. She, I was like, yes, girl, this is the I episode to burn that look. Burn it, burn it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I guess that's what she did. Okay, what's my absolute worst thing I can wear? That's the one. <laughs> Pull it out of the closet. We get down to the last two, Jasmine and Bosco. <sighs> I was nervoso. You weren't. Cafe Nervosa? Cafe Nervosa. Okay. They really got me. I'm telling you. But I was like, there's no way. They can't say Jasmine for a fourth time. Instead of Bosco, who's just been like, like killing no, it and is definitely top no three. There's no way. They're gonna, this is going to be her yes. upswing. She's hungry. I am playing Saltine. I'm getting the role of fucking Saltine, and they're going to have to drag my goddamn body out of here before I leave the cabinets. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We'll see how that happens. I'm not changing my mind. I'm, I'm not, not changing, changing my, my mind. mind. I'm not changing my mind. I'm, I'm not pretty changing much my digging mind. my claws in the so bad boy as well. I'm literally not changing my mind on this. Okay, we'll talk about Leslie Jordan. We'll talk about it. <gasps> yes. Wait, how weird was it that we just watched Ghost Piano with him? I know. I, wait, okay. Also, we're never calling it by the real name. We're only calling it Ghost Piano. Um, <laughs> it's going to be great. I can't wait to talk about it. But yes, Jasmine Kennedy yes. and Bosco have to lip sync to Swept Away by Diana Ross. Now, I will say, I have never heard this song and I really love it. Yeah. <laughs> such a fun weird song i yeah. mean this was like reminding me of like the fabio album where he's like oh. an island in the pacific <laughs> bring your bikini and toothbrush you know it was like a story song i like nothing better than to surprise my lady with a plane ticket and a toothbrush and her bikini yeah a little bit uh but i thought bosco really was exuding diana let's mm. say that just like Ugh. Yeah. Something was, she had been like, okay, fuck this. I gotta, come on, floor work. I mean, it was just, yeah, yes. I liked it a lot. Yes, I liked it a lot. Also, she got hornier at this point, too, which yeah. I think really the drew you in. The whole episode was really just. Whoever was horniest on the stage won, swear. Yeah. It was just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was fun of Jasmine to be like, oh, I can give you some camp now, right? I've been turning out my usual tricks. I'm gonna she try. was trying to do something different. I, I think she could have dug deeper into that well. Made a sandcastle? Well, maybe sweat. Brian thought she should have been like sweeping the floor. Sweep that. Maybe go a little real literal. I don't know. She did a little bit. She did a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was not bad. They were both good. It was pretty close. It was pretty close, but Bosco for me was like... It was like, yeah. I am breaking out all of my stripper moves. Splaying my taint for RuPaul to judge. <gasps> I know she loves her. Yes, Bosco wins. Yay! Um, and Jasmine goes home. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. Oh my god, I Maxine! lost it. <laughs> Remember when she was leaving? Because no one was on stage when she left, which was sad. Oh, all... yeah. Oh. I bet she was because she went, Maxine! Oh, and I missed like... that. I died cackling. I was probably just still cackling at RuPaul going, It's chocolate. Oh, it's chocolate. <laughs> 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 It's chocolate. It's chocolate. At this point, I because I was not nervous about Bosco because I knew if if she did lose, they would have given her the golden bar. Oh my God, he's like Nostradamus. But cheers to these past two weeks. Cheers yes. to the queens. Fun again. I love the cast. Yeah, I'm, great cast. You know, a little fatigued, um, but I I can't be mad because no. I'm really having a fun time. Having a fun time. I'm excited for next week's Rusical. It seems like it's really fun. Yeah, Leslie Jordan. Leslie Jordan directing like we asked for. I was like, cool. They took our notes. Great. Yes. Cheers. Let's hope they don't fuck it up. 